Hey guys, Vizella Productions here, and in this video I unbox the Steam Link. I also added the Steam Controller along with the Steam Link, just to make this video more interesting. And the reason that I am making this is because I thought that the idea for the Steam Link was fairly interesting, how you could just stream PC games to this little box. And I know that this is pretty old hardware, I just still want to give my thoughts on this. Now I may be doing a separate review later, but that's still up in the air right now. So I'm not going to waste any more time and I'm going to get straight into this. So starting off with the Steam controller itself, so I've been waiting to get one of these for a while. I like the actual design, lots of people thought it kind of looks like an owl. I mean it doesn't really look too bad, but I mean again, I have no idea because I've never tried one of these. So. Okay, one thing I know I am absolutely horrible at is stand-up commentary when I'm doing an unboxing. If you've seen my Nintendo Switch video unboxing on Sonic Film, you know that I'm pretty not really talkative, but okay. This is really- oh great, I'm ripping stuff already. Alright, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Oh great, okay, I just destroyed the Valve logo. Keep calling it the Valve logo, the Steam logo. Whoa! Oh, okay, so you can see here, it's got like, I'm not gonna open control yet. We got manual, uh, products guide, um, nothing really need. Uh, quick start guide. Um, for full controller experience, log into Steam. Let's see how this feels. This is actually a lot smaller than I thought, like, controller? And, yeah, a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Feels very fingerprint sensitive. It's got these little grip. Are these buttons? I have no idea. I think they're, they might be buttons. Um, okay, it's got a, a little uh, adapter at the top. Adapter, what am I saying? Huh, it's, oh, oh, that's gonna be a problem. Look at the size of those buttons. You see that? compared to everything else. Like, you have to see it in person for you to actually realize how small this thing, how small the buttons are, like, in real life, with the controller that this size just doesn't feel that. So this is the touch pad, I think, and, but the buttons feel fluent, but again, my, so far my only complaint, my only complaint so far is that these buttons here are tiny, really small, and I have little tiny fingers, so that's saying something. Holding the controller like normally, just like a normal controller, I'm I'm recording from this perspective, so if it gets mixed up, that's why. Is I mean, you're I, I can imagine me getting used to this, but compared to something like a 360 controller, which um, do I have like an example? This is kind of a bad example, but this is like a. A classic Genesis controller and this is the Steam controller like if you look at the size they're pretty sm the controller feels nice is it worth the $60 can 60 Canadian dollar price tag and $50 it's the same price as the Steam link which I'll get into in a minute um well I can't make my final judgment yet this isn't a review but based on first impressions I would say that it should probably it should probably be maybe 40 uh, United States dollars and 50 Canadian. It just kind of feels like, I don't know, it just kind of, it doesn't feel, I wouldn't say it feels cheap, but I'd say it kind of feels, um, mixed. Next, let's move on to the star of the show, the Steam Link itself. So, this costed just as much as the controller, so, I hope that this one has greater value than the controller because, you know, it's pretty much an Apple TV designed for PC streaming. I'm not trying to keep this thing in it, the packaging in the best condition, if you haven't been able to tell. Um, okay, let's get this open. Oh, great. I am just fantastic. This is one thing that I'm horrible at, and that's opening stuff. I almost all the time break the packaging. All right, in the similar sort of uh, package as the last one, I'm gonna try not to break it, but these things are definitely annoying. I'm trying to peel it from the wrong side. All 
All right, got this off, and okay, so finally we can look at what the Steam Link is like. So let's take a look again. I'm just gonna keep the controller here in the background for reference. Oh. Okay, so you got this little thing. You got a quick start guide down here. Oh, there's the Steam Link. It's in like a similar packaging to the Steam controller. I'm guessing these are like the cables and stuff. So let's look at the Steam Link first. So just had to back up the camera. Oh, that comes off pretty easily. And wow, this actually feels pretty professional. So I'm just gonna move this to the side. This is the Steam Link itself. I mean, I didn't really expect it to be too big. It kind of feels a little bit smaller, especially on this side, um, than I thought it would be. It's got a power adapter, uh, two USB ports, I don't know what type. Ethernet and HDMI. Um, it's got this nice little padding on the ground so it would fit nicely. And compared to something like the Apple TV, which we'll get into like comparison maybe in our video, it does feel very, it just feels professional and like high quality. Um, as for weight, it kind of feels average, kind of like something that you'd like the Apple TV. Um, might as well just take this off just to finish off. There we go. And oh, there's another uh, USB on the port. Comparing the Steam Link to the actual Steam controller, they're really not too big. Like, they're they're not too big between each other. Like, the controller's uh, bigger than the actual Steam Link, which is what I expected. The controller's smaller than I thought, but still, it does feel um, pretty, it does feel like they go together, which yes, they do. I do think that the Steam Link has way more value than the controller, yet they're the same price. But again, these two go together very nicely, like bread and butter, so. So this was my unboxing, or uh, I almost done, I completely forgot. Uh, let me just throw these over here. Yes, I am very, um, very careful with unboxing stuff. We got cables, if you really care about this, let's see. I'm absolutely fantastic at doing unboxings. So, this is what I imagine to be the cables. I haven't done any, like, I haven't looked too much into this. I haven't seen an unboxing already, so I don't know. I didn't know what to expect. Um, okay, there's this little thing I can just peel off. Okay, let's see. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, I'm great at unboxing stuff. Okay, let's see. Open up the cables and two more packages. Oh, great. Okay, so I assume these are for. Oh, I get what this is. So uh, these are for certain because, like, different countries have different adapters. So I guess they just wanted to have one version for all of them. Uh, let's see. This one, I don't. I don't think it'll tell. I know this one is Europe. I think. And yeah, yeah, this one's Europe. I don't know about the other two. Um, yeah, this one is the um, base one. Okay, so you just, okay, see, so yeah, I see. You just use this if like, you just use this to plug into like American things. If you saw, are, are somewhere else, you can use one of these to convert it into there. That's what I imagine it is. This is one massive power cable. What is this? Um, Ethernet cable. Uh, basically, this this is could be for eth Ethernet. It's, you could use this for Ethernet if you want. Just plug it into your router. But you can also use this by plugging this into your PC and then plugging it into the Steam Link, which that's pretty interesting if you just want to have like a wired connection and it's probably going to be faster than Wi-Fi. But it really just depends on how you're using it. So we got this, and I believe that the last cable, yes, HDMI. So this is for the Steam Link. So, and besides that, but yeah, so that was my unboxing of the Steam Link. If you think that this video was kind of garbage, it's probably because I am terrible at doing things unscripted, so that's why. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd greatly appreciate it if you shared this video on social media. Please leave your thoughts on this in the comment section below. If you have any articles that you think I should talk about, please private message me on YouTube with the link to the article, and if you ask, you may get a shout out for it, and see you.